Lesson 1. This menu has so many delicious options. Anna, this menu has so many delicious options. I'm having a hard time deciding what to order. I know what you mean, John. Everything looks tempting. Let's take a look together and see if anything catches our eye. How about we start with the appetizers? The bruschetta and the spinach artichoke dip both sound appetizing. I agree. Bruschetta is always a classic choice, and the spinach artichoke dip sounds like a flavorful option. Shall we order both? That's a great idea. Sharing is caring, right? Now, let's move on to the main courses. Are you in the mood for something specific? Well, I'm torn between the grilled salmon and the mushroom risotto. They both sound delicious, but I can't decide. I'll order the grilled salmon, and you can order the mushroom risotto. Then, we can share a bit of each. That sounds like a perfect plan, John. That way, we get to taste different dishes. Now, let's not forget about the sides. Absolutely. The roasted vegetables and the garlic mashed potatoes caught my attention. What do you think? I couldn't agree more. Roasted vegetables are always a healthy and flavorful choice, and who can resist creamy garlic mashed potatoes? Let's order both. Great minds think alike, Anna. Now, let's not neglect dessert. The chocolate lava cake and the creme brulee are calling my name. I have a sweet tooth too, John. Creme brulee is one of my favorites, and the chocolate lava cake sounds decadent. Let's indulge in both. That sounds like a plan, Anna. We've got quite the feast ahead of us. The only thing left to decide is what drinks to accompany our meal. Shall we go for a bottle of red wine to complement our dishes? It's always a good choice for a satisfying dining experience. I couldn't agree more. A bottle of red wine will be the perfect companion. Let's ask the server for their recommendation. Sounds like a plan, John. I'm excited about our meal choices. It's going to be a memorable dining experience. I feel the same way, Anna. Good food and great company make for an incredible evening. Lesson 2. How much longer it will take us to reach downtown on this train. Anna, do you have any idea how much longer it will take us to reach downtown on this train? Let me check the subway map. We boarded the train a few stops ago, so we should still have a bit of a journey ahead. Give me a moment. No problem, take your time. I'm just hoping we're not running late to meet our friend Tom. According to the map, we have about four more stops until we reach the downtown station. So, we still have a little ways to go. All right, thanks for checking. I hope Tom is a patient guy. I don't want to keep him waiting for too long. I'm sure he understands that commuting can sometimes be unpredictable. We'll get to downtown as quickly as we can. I appreciate your optimism, Anna. Let's hope for smooth travel and no unexpected delays. Absolutely, John. Fingers crossed for a speedy and hassle-free journey.
In the meantime, is there anything interesting you'd like to chat about? Well, I've been reading a captivating book lately. It's a mystery thriller that keeps me on the edge of my seat. How about you? Any interesting books or movies you've come across? That sounds intriguing, John. I've been exploring the world of fantasy novels recently. There's something magical about getting lost in a fictional realm. Currently, I'm reading a series that has dragons and epic quests. Wow, that sounds like a fantastic adventure. I've always been fascinated by fantasy worlds. It's amazing how literature can transport us to entirely different realms. Absolutely, John. It's a great way to escape reality for a while and immerse ourselves in captivating stories. By the way, have you ever considered writing your own book? Funny you should mention that, Anna. I've actually been toying with the idea of writing a novel someday. I have a few story ideas floating around in my head. That's wonderful, John. Writing a novel can be a fulfilling, creative journey. If you ever decide to pursue it, I'll be the first one in line to read your book. Thank you for the encouragement, Anna. It means a lot. Maybe one day, you'll see my name on the shelves of bookstores. I have no doubt about that, John. Your passion and talent will surely shine through in your writing. But for now, let's focus on reaching downtown and catching up with Tom. Absolutely. I can't wait to see him and hear all about his latest adventures. Thanks for keeping me updated on our progress. You're welcome, John. We're making progress and with a little more patience, we'll be in downtown soon. Hang in there. Lesson 3, I have a reservation. Good afternoon. I have a reservation under the name James Anderson. Good afternoon, Mr. Anderson. Welcome to our hotel. Let me check your reservation. Ah, here it is. Everything seems to be in order. How was your journey? Thank you. The journey was quite smooth. I'm looking forward to a comfortable stay here. By the way, I was wondering if you could provide some recommendations for local tours or attractions? Of course, Mr. Anderson. We have several options for local tours and attractions. Are you interested in specific activities or places? I'm interested in exploring the city's cultural highlights and landmarks. Any suggestions for historical sites or museums? Certainly. One popular option is the City History Museum which showcases the city's rich heritage and offers guided tours. Another option is the historic walking tour, where you can explore significant landmarks and learn about their historical significance. Both options sound interesting. I think I'll start with the historic walking tour. How can I arrange that? I can assist you with that, Mr. Anderson. We have partnerships with local tour companies, and I can help you book the historic walking tour. The tour usually takes place in the mornings and lasts for a couple of hours. Would you like me to arrange it for tomorrow? That would be perfect. Tomorrow morning works well for me. Thank you for your assistance.
You're welcome, Mr. Anderson. I'll make the necessary arrangements and provide you with all the details. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually, I'm also interested in experiencing the local cuisine. Are there any recommended restaurants nearby that serve authentic local dishes? Certainly. We have a few highly regarded restaurants in the vicinity that offer delicious local cuisine. One popular choice is Taste of Tradition, known for its traditional flavors and cozy ambience. Another option is Flavors of the City, which offers a fusion of local and international dishes. Both options sound great. I'll definitely try them out. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome, Mr. Anderson. I'm glad I could assist you. If you have any more questions or need further assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need anything else. Lesson 4. This beach is absolutely stunning. Anna, this beach is absolutely stunning. I'm so glad we decided to spend the day here. I couldn't agree more, John. The clear blue water and soft sand make it the perfect place to relax and unwind. Definitely. So, what do you have in mind for making the most of our day here? Well, how about starting with a refreshing swim in the ocean? The water looks so inviting. That sounds like a great idea. Let's take a dip and cool off. After that, we can find a cozy spot on the sand to relax and sunbathe. Sounds perfect. I brought a beach umbrella, so we can have some shade if we need it. Excellent. It's important to stay protected from the sun's rays. Oh, and don't forget the sunscreen. Absolutely, John. Safety first. I have a bottle of sunscreen in my bag. We'll make sure to apply it generously. Great. Now, once we've soaked up some sun, how about a friendly game of beach volleyball? I noticed a net set up not too far from here. I love the idea, John. It's been a while since I played volleyball. It'll be a fun way to stay active and enjoy the beach even more. Exactly. Plus, it's a great opportunity to meet new people and maybe even make some beach buddies. I couldn't agree more. The beach has such a friendly and relaxed atmosphere. Now, after all that activity, I'm sure we'll work up an appetite. You read my mind, Anna. How about a beachside picnic? We can pack some sandwiches, fruits, and refreshing drinks. That sounds delightful. We can bring a beach blanket to sit on and enjoy our meal while taking in the beautiful view. Perfect. And if we're lucky, we might catch a mesmerizing sunset before we leave. It would be the cherry on top of a perfect beach day. I couldn't agree more, John. A beach sunset is always a breathtaking sight. I can't think of a better way to end our day here. Agreed, Anna. So, shall we get started with our beach adventures? I can't wait to dive into the water and enjoy this beautiful day. Let's do it, John.
It's time to embrace the beach vibes and make unforgettable memories. Lesson 5, Ordering Meal in Airplane Excuse me, could I see the menu, please? Of course, sir. Here is the menu for today's meal service. Take your time to browse through the options. Thank you. Hmm, everything looks delicious. I think I'll go with the chicken breast with mashed potatoes. It sounds satisfying. Excellent choice, sir. And how would you like your chicken cooked? We have options for grilled or roasted. I'll have it grilled, please. And what sides are available with the dish? The chicken breast comes with a side of steamed vegetables and a dinner roll. Is that to your liking? That sounds perfect. I'll have that combination. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. And would you like any beverage to accompany your meal? We have a variety of options, including soft drinks, juices, and hot beverages. I'll have a glass of orange juice, please. Certainly. Now, let me confirm your order. You would like the grilled chicken breast with mashed potatoes, steamed vegetables, a dinner roll, and a glass of orange juice, correct? That's correct. Thank you for confirming. My pleasure. Your order will be served shortly. If you need anything else during the flight, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome, sir. Enjoy your meal and have a pleasant flight. Lesson 6 Hosting a party at our place. Anna, the weather is perfect today, isn't it? It got me thinking, how about hosting a party at our place this weekend? That's a great idea, John. The garden looks lovely, and it's been a while since we had a gathering with our friends and neighbors. Exactly. It's a perfect opportunity to catch up with everyone and have a fun-filled evening together. What type of party do you have in mind? Well, since it's summertime, how about a barbecue party? We can set up the grill, prepare some delicious burgers, sausages, and grilled veggies. I love the idea of a barbecue party. The mouth-watering aroma of grilled food will definitely make the atmosphere even more enjoyable. And let's not forget some refreshing drinks. We can set up a drink station with a variety of beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, to cater to everyone's preferences. That sounds perfect, Anna. We can also create a cozy seating area with some outdoor furniture and cushions so that everyone can relax and have a good time. Absolutely. We want our guests to feel comfortable and enjoy the evening. How about some background music to add to the ambience? We can create a playlist with everyone's favorite songs. That's a great idea. We can even ask our friends to suggest their favorite songs in advance to make the playlist more diverse and enjoyable for everyone. I love the thought of involving our friends in the preparations. It will make the party more personalized and special. We can also plan some fun outdoor games or activities to keep everyone entertained.
Brilliant. We can have a friendly tournament of cornhole or set up a badminton net for some energetic matches. It will surely add a playful touch to the party. I couldn't agree more, John. It's all about creating a joyful and memorable experience for everyone. Let's start making a list of things we need and reach out to our friends to invite them to the party. Absolutely, Anna. I'm excited about hosting this party and spending quality time with our loved ones. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. It definitely will be, John. I'm looking forward to it. Let's make this party a celebration to remember in our beautiful garden. Lesson 7, we'll have quite a bit of laundry to do. Anna, we're finally back from our long holiday. Looking at this pile of suitcases, I have a feeling we'll have quite a bit of laundry to do. You're right, John. We had such an amazing time, but now it's time to face the reality of post-holiday laundry. Let's tackle it together. Absolutely. So, how many loads of laundry do you think we'll need to do? I see a mix of clothes, towels, and linens. Well, let's start by segregating the items. We can have a load for clothes, one for towels and linens, and maybe another one for delicates. That sounds like a good plan. I'll start sorting out the clothes while you gather the towels and linens. We can meet back here when we're done. Sounds good. Oh, and don't forget to check the pockets for any loose items like coins or small trinkets. We wouldn't want anything to get damaged in the wash. Good point, Anna. I'll make sure to do a thorough check. It's better to be safe than sorry. Now that I think about it, we might also need to do a load of laundry for our swimwear and beach towels. They tend to get quite sandy and salty. You're right. Let's not forget about that. We can toss them in with the towels and linens load. Once we have everything sorted and loaded into the washing machine, we can decide on the appropriate settings. We don't want to shrink anything or damage delicate fabrics. Absolutely. I'll double check the care labels and set the machine accordingly. It's always better to err on the side of caution. Great. While the machine is running, we can take this time to relax and unwind after our trip. It feels good to be back home, doesn't it? It definitely does, Anna. There's no place like home. And knowing that we'll have fresh, clean clothes soon makes it even better. I completely agree, John. It's the little things that make coming back from a vacation so comforting. Now, let's sit back, relax, and wait for the washing machine to work its magic. Sounds like a plan, Anna. We make a great team, even when it comes to tackling post-holiday laundry. Lesson 8, I'm preparing your favorite dinner tonight as a special treat. Anna, what's that delicious aroma coming from the kitchen? It smells amazing. I'm glad you noticed, John. I'm preparing your favorite dinner tonight as a special treat. Oh, you know me so well. What are you making? 
I'm making your all-time favorite, homemade lasagna. I know how much you love it. Wow, that's fantastic. You really know how to make me happy. I can't wait to dig into that cheesy goodness. I'm glad you're excited, John. I put a lot of love and effort into making it just the way you like it. It's almost ready, just a few more minutes. Patience has never been my strong suit, especially when it comes to your cooking. The anticipation is killing me. Trust me, John, it'll be worth the wait. While we wait for dinner, why don't you grab a bottle of wine from the cabinet? We can enjoy a glass together. That's a great idea. I'll be right back with a nice bottle of red. It'll pair perfectly with the lasagna. Perfect. I've set the table so we can have a cozy dinner together. I even made a fresh salad to accompany the lasagna. You've really outdone yourself, Anna. I'm lucky to have a partner who not only knows how to cook, but also knows my favorite dishes. It's my pleasure, John. Seeing you happy and satisfied is the best reward. Now, here it is, piping hot and ready to be served. It looks incredible, Anna. The golden, bubbly cheese on top is making my mouth water. Let's dig in. Bon appetit, John. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. MMM. Anna, this is absolutely delicious. The flavors are perfect, and the homemade touch makes it even more special. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, John. It warms my heart to see you savoring every bite. You truly are an amazing cook, Anna. Thank you for going the extra mile to make this dinner so memorable. You're welcome, John. It's my way of expressing my love and appreciation for you. I'm glad I could make your evening extra special. Well, you've definitely succeeded. This is a dinner I won't forget. Thank you for being such an incredible partner, both in and out of the kitchen. The pleasure is all mine, John. I'm grateful to have you in my life. Here's to many more delicious meals and cherished moments together. Lesson 9, would you like to go to the library together? Hey, Anna. I was thinking, after school today, would you like to go to the library together? Hi, John. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I have a few assignments to work on, and the library is always a quiet and productive place. Exactly. Plus, we can help each other if we come across any challenging subjects or need assistance with research. That's true. Two heads are better than one, right? It's always helpful to have someone to bounce ideas off of or clarify concepts with. Absolutely. And it's also a great opportunity to spend some time together outside of the classroom. We can make studying more enjoyable. I agree, John. It's nice to have a study buddy and make the most of our time together. I find that studying with a friend can be motivating and help us stay focused. Definitely. 
So, shall we meet at the library right after school? We can grab our books and find a quiet corner to work in. Sounds like a plan, John. Let's meet at the entrance of the library. I'll make sure to bring all the materials I need for my assignments. Great! I'll bring my laptop and some notebooks as well. Oh, and if there are any specific books you need, let me know, and I can help you find them. That's very kind of you, John. I'll let you know if there's anything I need assistance with. It's nice to have someone who knows their way around the library. No problem at all, Anna. I've spent quite a bit of time there, so I'm familiar with the layout. We'll find everything we need. Perfect. I'm really looking forward to our study session at the library. It's going to be productive and fun. Absolutely, Anna. Let's make the most of our time there and tackle our assignments together. See you at the library after school. See you there, John. Looking forward to it. Lesson 10, that was an intense basketball game. Phew! That was an intense basketball game, Anna. I'm completely wiped out. I can barely catch my breath. Haha, <laughs> I know what you mean, John. It was quite a workout, but I still have so much energy left. I'm ready for another round. You're incredible, Anna. I don't know how you managed to stay so energetic. I feel like I could collapse right here on the court. Well, I guess I just have a lot of stamina. But don't worry, John. Take your time to catch your breath and rest. You played really well out there. Thanks, Anna. I gave it my all but I guess I need to work on my endurance. I'm glad you're here to keep the energy up. No problem, John. We make a good team on and off the court. Speaking of which, maybe we can grab some water and sit on the bench for a while before we call it a day. That sounds like a plan. Hydrating and taking a breather sounds heavenly right now. I could use some time to recover. Absolutely. We can enjoy the cool breeze and chat about the game or anything else that comes to mind. No rush. That sounds really nice, Anna. I appreciate your understanding. It's great to have a friend like you who knows when to push and when to take it easy. Likewise, John. Friendship is all about support and understanding. We're in this together, whether it's on the basketball court or in everyday life. You're absolutely right, Anna. I'm lucky to have you as my friend. Let's take a few moments to recharge, and then we can head home feeling accomplished. Sounds like a plan, John. We'll recover and come back stronger next time. For now, let's enjoy this moment of rest and celebrate a great game. Agreed, Anna. Rest and celebration sound like the perfect combination. Thanks for being such an awesome friend. Anytime, John. That's what friends are for. Now, let's take a breather and savor the feeling of a game well played. 